Let's talk about camera gear. What's going on everybody? Joshua here with Choppy Tech. Welcome back to another video. And this is actually a different style video, but I figured I'd like to do it because it's just a really awesome topic and it's something that's interested me a lot lately and that is camera gear and just cameras in general. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the gadgets and gear that I use to create these videos and videos that I use to create outside of YouTube. So without further ado, let's get started and let me show you what I use to get my video game up there as fire. Let's get started. So let's start off with the stuff that's off camera right now. I'm actually using a laptop for editing. My laptop is a Dell Inspiron 15 inch laptop. It has an Intel Core i7, a GTX 960M graphics card, and eight gigabytes of RAM with a 4K screen. This is a power packed beast of a laptop. Super awesome laptop. I cannot recommend it enough for whether you video edit or gaming. It's just an awesome laptop for 4K video editing or 1080p video editing and Adobe Premiere Pro, which is my video editor of choice. I switched to Adobe Premiere Pro CC earlier this year and I have been very happy with it. It runs super smooth and I just really like the Mercury playback engine on it. So it just really works well for my workflow and it has a nice look and feel to the editing software as well. I switched from Vegas so it's just a fantastic editing software and it offers a lot of features like the Lumetri color selector. Uh, the Lumetri Color Corrector, that's what I meant to say, but it's just an awesome, awesome editing software. Um, another thing that I don't have on camera or available to me right now as it's upstairs in my office is the Logitech C920 webcam. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome budget webcam to get started on YouTube or whether you use it for Skype calls or whatever you want to do, live streaming. Fantastic webcam to use. Shoots 1080p and you can get it for under a hundred bucks now. So if you want to start on YouTube and you want to start on YouTube cheap, the Logitech C920 is a fantastic webcam for you to use. But now we have stuff in front of us, so let's talk about the stuff that we have in front of us. So directly in front of me right now, I am shooting this with the Panasonic Lumix G7, which I've had for a little bit over a year, with the 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens on the camera. Super, super sharp. It works really well, actually. I've used it a lot before I got this camera lens, which I'll talk about in a moment. But this, this kit right here is just really awesome, and it's under... 700 bucks right now so you could get shoot 4k and just do a lot of cool stuff with it this is like the power kit in front of me right now i really like the setup that i have in front of me right now and i'm going through it with you right now so the panasonic lumix g7 is step one to this power setup this beast of a setup right here step two is audio you want to upgrade your camera audio from the onboard microphones the rode video mic pro micro is a fantastic option because it is around $60 and this is the Rode Video Micro sound quality right now. Just super, super high quality sound. Usually with an onboard microphone on this kind of camera, you get a lot of echo and it wouldn't work very well, especially from the distance that I'm at right now. But this Rode Video Micro is a champ. You can use it outside. It comes with a windscreen. So for $60, you get an awesome, awesome shotgun microphone. Now, if you want to get some smooth pans and tilts, whether you're doing a wedding or real estate photography or even YouTube like what I'm doing right now, the Velbon PH368 Fluid Head is a fantastic fluid head to get started on YouTube or get started on film with a lower budget. This is an awesome fluid head and I've had it for a little over a year as well. Pretty much everything that I have in front of me, I've had for a little bit over a year as well. And I've taken really good care of it and it's very high quality stuff and just works really well for my workflow and I hope it does for you guys too. Everything that I'm mentioning right now is actually linked in the description below. So if you wanna go check any of this out, definitely go do so using the links in the description below. But let's continue with the slider of choice, which is an iMorden slider. You can actually get this slider for under $100. Pretty much everything, all these accessories are under $100. How about that? That's pretty crazy, right? Because sliders go anywhere from under $100 to thousands of dollars, but this one is really affordable and budget. So if you want to try out a slider or you want to get some cool slider shots, this I'm Warden Slider in front of me is just a really awesome slider choice, especially if you're just getting started with film and you don't have a lot of money to spend. Now holding all this stuff up is actually Benroll legs and these are a pair of aluminum legs and this tripod actually gets really, really high um, 
super versatile, super high quality. I really like Benro and I really like their build quality as far as their tripods and gamer gear goes. I plan to pick up more stuff from Benro in the future, but as of now, I just have a tripod from them and it has not shown really any wear or tear at all as I've had it for over a year. It shows a little bit of like scratches and things, but nothing major and it's worked well for my workflow over the past year or so, a little over a year at that. Um, so that's pretty much what I have in front of me. To the right of me, I have to the right and left of me, I have two soft boxes, the Limo Studio wa uh, light bulbs, and these are about seventy dollars on Amazon. They're soft box lights. They're a little bit large, but they get the job done well. I am looking to downgrade and get a smaller LED panels, but these are awesome to produce some really really bright light. So if, if you're looking to get some great lighting on a budget, the Limo Studio light bulbs that I have in front of me, soft box lights. For $70, you really can't go wrong as these are just fantastic. So that's pretty much what covers everything that I'm using to film this video right now. But now let's talk about stuff that I'm not using to film this video right now, but I usually use pretty much when I'm traveling or just swapping things in and out. So let's start with that camera lens that I told you about. So if you wanna get some crisp bouquet when you're filming a video, and you don't have a lot of money to spend, the, and you have a Panasonic Lumix G7 or a Micro Four Thirds camera, this one is fantastic. It is the 25 millimeter f1.7 aperture lens. It is a prime lens, which gives you really, really crisp, shallow depth of field and great bouquet. It comes with a lens hood, and it just works really, really, really well. Um, for the budget price of Oh, under $300 I think this lens costs now. Um, you can really get some awesome shots with this and it's really versatile and easy to use. Great for photography and videography. Hmm, let's see what else we're gonna talk about. We have the GoPro Hero 4 Silver right here. This is an awesome action camera, awesome travel, fit it in your pocket really easily. Um, this is really cool, it's waterproof. Well, with the waterproof housing, um, it also has the screen on the back, which is important because I like to see what I'm capturing. So if I'm using like this for a time lapse, I want to see how I'm framing that time lapse before I actually let the time lapse run. But really awesome, awesome, high quality piece of camera gear. Um, I just like to travel with this. I always put this in my backpack. Um, I'm just using it whenever I want. Um, it works well with battery. Battery is not a problem with this thing. I can let this thing run on a time lapse for hours on end and it doesn't really run out that fast. Um, just an awesome, awesome uh, action camera. I plan to use this a lot more this summer underwater or to the beach or wherever I'm going. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going this summer, but just an awesome uh, action camera and they actually have the GoPro Hero 5 out right now which has waterproof built in so you don't even have to worry about getting waterproof housing for the new GoPros. I'll leave the Hero 5 linked in the description below as this one's really not available anymore or as far as I've seen it's not available anymore. If I find a link I'll let you guys know in the description below as well. Um, let's talk about this. You guys saw this sitting on the desk you're probably wondering what it was so why not share with you. This is actually the Joby Gorillapod Action Tripod. Um, it's a really, really versatile tripod. You can put it on trees, and you don't even need to really hold the camera if you don't want to. Like, I could put a GoPro on here if I want to, or I can also put a Zoom H1 if I want to put this out of frame slightly and just record with the Zoom H1 recording audio. Say I'm outside. This is just an awesome, versatile tripod, and it has many, many different possibilities possibilities are endless with this and it's super high quality and super super cheap so definitely another awesome piece of uh, camera gear that you need to have in your bag. Now let's talk about some other audio options. I already shared with you my Rode Video Micro which is $60 which is super super awesome produces high quality audio unlike the camera but I also have some other options in front of me right now. I have this Rode Smart Lab Plus which could work well on its own with my smartphone. But since I don't wanna use my smartphone, I prefer to use the Zoom H1, which also has awesome capabilities as well for only $100. Guys, these things I have here are really cheap and easy to use. Um, the Zoom H1 is versatile. You can use it as a microphone like this, say you're interviewing someone, or you can plug the Rode SmartLav Plus into the Zoom H1, and you can get some really, really awesome audio 
like a lav system into the Zoom H1, which is awesome as well. As far as voiceover audio, I use this right in front of me here. This is the blue Yeti microphone. This is the Yeti Blackout Edition, which is an awesome, awesome microphone as well, which is a little over $100. And this is an awesome mic if I want to get some voiceover. I'll say I'm doing a documentary or I'm doing a YouTube video and I want to get high quality voiceover. This is the mic that I prefer to use for my voiceovers. But I also can use the Zoom H1 if I'd like to. The Zoom H1 has endless possibilities. So um, yeah, just really really versatile audio gear in front of me here. Now when I'm traveling, I like to make sure that my audio is safe. So I usually put my Zoom H1 into this Pelican 1060 case. Super high quality case. Definitely, definitely can be banged around and stuff. You can put your, your Rode Smart Lab Plus in here, your Zoom H1. The Zoom H1 actually has a carrying case if you get the accessory pack. I'll also leave that link below. But just an awesome way to travel and make sure that my audio gear is safe. I also like to make sure I travel with extra batteries, extra SD cards, and things like that for my audio stuff. As the Zoom H1 takes micro SD, so make sure that you have SD card in the Zoom H1. I have a Lexar in here right now, but it really doesn't matter if you have SanDisk or Lexar in your Zoom H1 or anything for that matter. Um, talking about storage here, I actually have a 16 gigabyte Lexar SD card here right now. These are what the camera takes. It could take 16 gigabyte, 400 times speed if I'm shooting shooting at 1080, but if I'm shooting at 4K, I actually have a 64 gigabyte, 2000 X speed SD card. So that is an awesome Lexar SD card as well. I don't really shoot 4K that much, but if I have to, I have the option with having a really fast SD card, and that's actually in the camera right now. So I'm not shooting 4K, but just in case I have the one to shoot 4K, I have the option to be able to do that. Now, when I want to store my video files, I use this two terabyte G hard drive. Um, really awesome hard drive, really, really awesome price as well. I found this for a good deal. Um, so another awesome uh, hard drive. Looks really nice, easy, looks easy to travel with. So throw my laptop, throw my hard drive in the backpack and I'm off. Um, really awesome hard drive if I wanna back up files and make sure that everything is saved properly and backed up well. Finally, moving on to some more portable things. I have this camera bag here, which I use to put my Panasonic Lumix G7 in. Um, this is from Case Logic. It's just a really nice camera bag, easy to walk around with. So if I'm at like an event or something, I can just have this wrapped around me or over my shoulder, like a sling or whatever. Um, works really well and it's really, really cheap too. Um, priced well. Um, you can have a lot of different things in here. I throw my camera in here and I usually put an extra lens in here as the camera doesn't fit all the way in this whole bag. It's a little bit small for this bag. So I throw my lens in there as well as I don't want to put that in my other bag because my other bag's actually not exactly a camera bag, but I am looking to get a camera bag in the future. This is actually another Case Logic bag. This is a Case Logic laptop bag. It's really nice, really high quality. It's around, I'd say under $60. Um, I throw my laptop in here. I like to throw my camera bag packed, nice and packed and neat and like organized and protected. I throw that also in the laptop pouch. And I also like to throw the, um, the audio gear in this pouch here, whatever accessories I'm bringing on me for that shoot. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do with this bag, but I am looking to get a dedicated actual camera bag that also has a laptop sleeve. So this way I don't have to worry about bringing this extra bag that I have that I showed you earlier, but it's awesome laptop bag. I'll leave that link below for you. Um, but yeah, guys, it's really, really budget over here. Um, I'm not working with anything super, super fancy, but I really don't need to be working with anything super fancy. That That's the point of this video. Um, all this stuff is pretty cheap and you can produce some really high quality videos if you want to get started in filmmaking or in YouTube or really cheap and budget friendly. Um, 
that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Drop me a subscribe. Um, I want to post some more stuff like this in the future. I actually have a camera account on Instagram. It's at camera gearheads. If you want to go follow it, definitely go do so. Check out the kit link below. Um, that's basically covering everything that I showed you in this video. And um, I also have some other kits for some other things. So if you want to check that out, definitely you do that as well. But I'll also have this stuff individually linked down below. So this way you guys can access it very easily. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to drop me a comment if you enjoyed what your favorite piece of camera gear is in this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.